My name is Sharon. I've been married for 34 years to Tony, and we have three sons, David, Joshua, and Daniel. And we have our first grandchild on the way, that is a girl. My husband and I have been empty nesters for two years. It's just been the two of us and our dog. And my oldest son is in uh, MMA, and he's been down in Albuquerque. Um, down there, my, my daughter-in-law is living with us, and she's brought her dog and her cat. My middle son, he has a new build, and they're on strike. And his closing date was pushed back because of the strike, so he, him and my other daughter-in-law have been here, and they have a dog. And so we've gone from being empty nesters to two of our sons back, three dogs and a cat. My morning routine looks like shower, blow dry, curling iron, makeup, out the door. I've had this look probably for, for a long time, according to family members. <laughs> yeah. Sharon is probably the most selfless person I know. She is literally, like, she'll do anything for everybody. Anybody. Um, I'm gonna get emotional. I'm the worst, <laughs> sorry. She will literally do anything for anybody and she really deserves something to be done for her. It speaks volumes about you and what you do for your family. Thank you. Beautiful. I love them all. Well, yeah. that's why they all came back to live with you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe love a little less. <laughs> okay, doing your makeover today, we've got Kirk Brierly here from your makeup. She deserves a good one today. So loving and, you know, caring for everyone around her. The whole farm is at her house, including the kids and the animals. <laughs> and Sharon is so lovely. And she I is. had, like, no pressure. And then I saw what her... I just found out what her son does. And I'm yeah. like, this better look good. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to punch you Now out. I'm, like, all sweating. And <laughs> anyway, uh, Sharon and I were chatting. Sharon and I are from the same generation who love the sun. Yeah. You know, fair people who like to have that sun-kissed glow. So I think my number one goal is to show Sharon that she can have that sun-kissed glow at this time of year, but do it with makeup and, and bronzing yeah. powder and products so that she doesn't get the harmful effects of the mm -hmm. actual sun. So that's my big thing. Beautiful. All right, let's talk about her hair. Palma. Okay, so, well, you give so much love to everyone. Now it's our time to give you this love because you deserve it. You've got these gorgeous eyes. Show the camera, show everyone at home how beautiful they are. We're gonna open up your face and give you a fresh new look and grandma's never looked so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Uh, I love the fact that we are spending time on their hair and makeup, but also the ladies are getting a head to toe makeover. So you've got mm. to stay tuned to see what our lovely stylist, Eva Grabasic comes up with. She's out there in the audience right now and she's already thinking about the looks that these guys are gonna walk away with. It's time to take a look at Sharon. We know um, Sharon is helping everyone all the time and today was her day to get a little bit pampered so let's take a look at Sharon's beautiful makeover reveal Sharon come on out <laughs> Gosh, I'd hug you more, but I don't want to ruin anything. <laughs> yeah, you look phenomenal. Thank you. What's your favorite thing about this look? What do you think? The hair. The hair. Something different. Okay, let's get the team in. We've got Palma and Kirk here. <laughs> she loves her hair. She loves it. Okay, what did you do? It looks more sleek. It looks healthier. Yes. It's got shine. Well, soon to be grandma. Come on. Just because you're going to be a grandma doesn't mean we have to have that typical look. Yes. You're beautiful, you're young, you're fresh, and you want to share that energy with your grandchild that's coming, yes. which is amazing. So let's freshen up the cut. Let's give you a fresh, modern style, the lob. I love this shape on you. Let's open up your eyes. I told her to grow out those bangs. Goodbye, Farrah Fawcett. We're going to leave her where she was. <laughs> but you look phenomenal. Yeah. Enjoy the cut. Very nice. Okay, let's talk about these pretty eyes now. Kirk, for your makeup, and I'm going to get you to look straight ahead so we can see your gorgeous face. There we go. So I used colors on her eyes that I would never would normally do, and I don't think Sharon would either. But yeah. this is the time of year to have some fun with color. This right. is when the seasonal color palettes are out. And I used aqua and teal and mm -hmm. a little mint green, drew inspiration from the dress. 
But they, it does. It really plays up her beautiful eyes. And I was able to borrow from Christine a blue mascara, which again was something Sharon was like, really? You're putting blue mascara? That's pretty. But, but really, this is the time Gorgeous. of year to do it. Like, have some fun. Uh -huh. And finally, just to give her that sun-kissed look that she loves, I showed her how to apply the bronzing powder in a way that makes it look natural, but uh -huh. she's not getting the actual harmful effects from the sun's rays. Very nice. And the, the dress is just gorgeous, Eva. Beautiful. It's it's from Melanie Lynn, and I have to say, it took me, what, 27 minutes to dress you? Like, literally 27 minutes from the moment we walked in the store till we were done. Good. Second dress on. The silhouette is stunning on her. Those colors are something we should all try to do for the summertime. And then shoes from Geox, neutral shoes, lady. When the dress is that beautiful, do a neutral shoe. It will elongate your legs, especially where it's cutting her. Yeah. And it won't um, compete against that beautiful dress. Very nice.